Okay, this problem is a classic problem you probably would have seen in uh, pre-calculus. It's the old fencing problem. Uh, so this is going to be a way that we're going to set it up exactly the same as pre-calculus. However, in pre-calculus what you did was use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Well, instead of doing that on this problem, we're going to instead use calculus by taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero. Um, but the setup is going to be exactly the same as what you would see in pre-calculus. So, Rancher has 200 feet of fencing to enclose two adjacent corrals and they may or may not provide a picture for you here. This one, this is what the picture will look like. Adjacent means there's two corrals right next to each other. What dimension should be used so that the enclosed area will be a maximum? Okay, so for this kind of problem here, what we have to do is set up some variables for these sides. And we want to get a couple equations and then we'll have to do substitution. So, you're talking about an area, so I'm going to label the shorter sides x and the longer side is going to be a y. Now you don't have to label them this way, but that's how I'm labeling them here. That's how I did it in the notes also. Uh, so that would be uh, your picture. So first of all, we know that area is equal to x times y. Now, I don't want to take the derivative with this because it's too many variables. I want to first uh, find another equation that I can use to substitute back in. We've got to use this 200 feet somewhere. 200 feet is used to create all the different sides of this corral here. So, I have three x's and I have two y's. All of that is going to be using part of the 200 feet for the material. So we have to include the one in the middle also because there's material that's being used to make this into two separate corrals. So let's write the equation for this. We have three x's plus two y's. That's going to give you 200 feet. Okay, so that's using up all, we have five different pieces to this and they're all going to add up to 200. Now what you can do here is you can solve for either x or y, it doesn't matter. Put it into here and then we'll take the derivative. I'm going to solve for y in this case, but again, you could do either one, doesn't matter. Okay, so 2y is going to equal 200 minus 3x, and I'm going to divide everything by 2. So I'll just do each of these separately. y is equal to 100 minus 3 halves x. I'm going to take this y, I'm going to substitute it back into that y right there, and I'm going to get x times, instead of the y, I'm going to put in this right here, 100 minus 3 halves x. Okay, so that's going to be your area formula. Now if this was a pre-calculus class, I would multiply this out, which I'm still going to do anyway here, 100x minus 3 halves x squared, and I would apply negative b over 2a to find the vertex, and the vertex corresponds to the highest or lowest because we have a quadratic here. However, because this is calculus, instead, I'm going to take the derivative, set it equal to zero. So here's our original function. I multiply it out so I could use the power rule. Derivative of 100x is 100, this is a primed here, minus when the two comes down, it'll cancel out the two down below. I get x and then subtract one. So I just get that, I get 100 minus 3x. I'm gonna set it equal to zero. So zero equals 100 minus 3x. 3x equals 100. So my x is going to equal 100 over 3, and we're talking about feet here. So 100 thirds is going to be the first uh, dimension. So let's read the question. It says, what dimension should be used so the enclosed area will be a maximum? It's only asking for dimensions in this case. It's not asking for the actual area. So here's the first answer, 100 thirds. Now, we got to find also the other dimension. We have to find the x and the y. So I'm going to put this back into here. That's going to give us the y value. 100 minus 3 halves and then times 100 over 3. When we do that, okay, the 3's are going to cancel. I get 100 minus 50 here. So that means that the dimension for y is going to be 50 feet. So I get 100 thirds for x and I get 50 feet for the y. These would be the two dimensions that would give us the maximum area if we only have 200 feet of fencing available.